Find a variety of recommended stitching supplies through my online shop in the description and in the link below. To start, I've already prepared a piece of leather with marked stitching lines and holes. I'm going to first stitch along two sides of the leather piece with unwaxed linen thread. The thread should be four to five times longer than the area you plan to stitch. To protect the thread and prevent it from tangling, apply several coats of beeswax. Before threading your needle, give the thread a few hits to flatten one end. This makes it easier to pass the thread through the needle's eye. To lock the thread onto the needle, simply wrap the thread around the point one time and pierce the thread at the tip of the needle. Then pull the thread down the needle and tighten it till it locks at the needle's eye. Repeat this for both ends, fixing a blunt harness needle to each end of the thread. Now fix your leather to the stitching horse. Pull both ends of the thread even and link through the first hole. Pass the needle through the next hole but without pulling the thread all the way through. Pass the other needle through the same hole wrapping one end of the thread over the needle as it passes through, then tighten both ends. I like to start with the needle in my right hand and end with the needle in my left hand. I wrap the thread over the needle each time so the stitches are always at the same angle and remain uniform. This will keep your stitches looking even and beautiful provided your stitching holes are lined up properly. With each stitch, make sure to pull the thread firmly enough to make sure that the stitch is tight. Now let's look at the stitch from an overhead angle. With each stitch, you need to be careful not to entangle the threads when stitching. This can be prevented by pulling the thread a little while pushing the needle through. 
If the thread is caught on the needle, just pull back a little on the needle to set it free and continue with your stitch. Here's another demonstration. To secure my stitch, I'm going to back stitch two holes and pull my threads through the seam of the leather and seal it with glue. Apply a little glue between the seam and to the thread tips and pinch. Place a piece of folded paper over the stitches and pat down with a mallet. Repeat the same process with the nylon thread. This time, instead of pulling the thread through the seam, I'm going to cut off the ends and solder the tips. Since this is a nylon thread, it'll melt to firmly secure our stitch. If my thread breaks while stitching, here's how I fix it.
Rethread your needles and go back one hole and continue stitching. Now cut off any excess thread from the broken stitch. Should you decide to change the color of your project after stitching, understand a nylon thread won't die, but linen will. For example, let's test dye this nylon thread black. Now let's try with linen. I prefer to stitch with linen threads. The colors are brighter and I just think they look better overall. How about you? Feel free to leave your questions and comments below and thank you for watching. Become a patron member of Fisher Workshops to receive great discounts, perks, and other special benefits only available to the Patreon community. To learn more, please visit my Patreon page listed here and in the description below. With your support, let's continue to make it possible to bring great leathercraft content to YouTube. Visit my new Facebook group, The Art of Leathercraft, and get to know the leathercrafting community.